And in terms of the performance aspect of this device, this thing has that Apple A9 chip inside of it, has that dual core CPU and two gigabytes of RAM. Now, none of that has changed since obviously the first time this phone has been released, but still, I think for a lot of people out there, that Apple A9 chip was a really good step up from the A8 chip, but I think the biggest thing about this device is that two gig of RAM option. It's not even an option, it's what you get. And like I said before, that is a humongous asset for this device. If it had one gig of RAM, that would be totally weird like the iPhone 6, but this thing has that two gig of RAMs. So I think at the end of the day, you're going to be definitely okay for the most part. I'm not gonna sit here and say it's the best performing device. It's probably not even the best performing device of 2016, considering we got the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus that same year too. Too. But what I've seen so far is that this phone can handle really everything you throw at it. It's definitely a smaller display, so there's less pixels to push, so that's another important thing. But definitely the software isn't helping it. You know, iOS 14 has been, you know, like I said before, it may have had a little bit of an impact on the performance, but I still think for a lot of people out there, if you're doing day to day things like text messaging, FaceTime calls, picking up doing Uber or like whatever the case is, like small apps like that, I think everyone will be okay. You know, like for me personally, I'm not sitting there and playing games every single day. I don't really depend on my phone a crazy amount. Now, when I'm on the go, I need an extremely stable device. I need a phone that can handle really everything I throw at it. And that's why I choose to use one of the newer phones. But if I didn't really need it anymore, I would definitely depend on something like this. Now, if you're editing videos and photos on your device and you're doing a lot of crazy stuff and you're playing video games all the time, then obviously this this is probably not the best phone to pick up, but even then I think it could handle a lot of things you throw at it. But I think like I said, the screen is probably the biggest asset or the biggest problem for a lot of people because of the size of the phone. If you're doing a lot of bigger apps and bigger tasks, you may prefer a bigger phone. So getting an iPhone 8 or 8 plus type of screen will be better for you. But Again, it is what it is. I would probably tell you performance wise, it hasn't really been affected too much with iOS 14. Maybe it's a little bit slower, but like I said, it'll get better over time. But I, I would still give it a thumbs up in my books. I think it's definitely better than not. So in terms of performance, that pretty much covers it up. And